In this video, we want to evaluate this definite integral. So first, we'll go ahead and find the integral of tangent cube x. Let's look at this over here. So let's look at tangent cube x. And I'm going to break this up into tangent squared of x, tangent of x. Always looking ahead to see if I can get a substitution to work here. I mean a u substitution. So here tangent squared, there's a fundamental identity for that for trig. Can be written, written as secant squared x minus one. Okay, one plus tangent squared of an angle is equal to secant squared of the angle. So if we take the one over secant squared of x minus one will equal to tangent squared. And then I'll leave this out in front here. So let me break this up. Multiply through by tangent here. I have secant squared of x times tangent of x. And then multiplying through by the negative one there, tangent x times the minus one, this will be minus. And I'm going to separate these into two integrals. This will be dx here. And of course dx over here. Now there is a formula for the integral of tangent of x. So no problem there. And for the this integral here, secant squared x, tangent x, I'm going to let u equal to tangent of x. Then du will equal to, derivative of tangent is secant squared of x, and this will be dx. So now let's do the substitution here. This is going to equal 2. So this will be the integral of. Now we're going to try to convert this to the variable u. So notice secant squared dx. That can be replaced by du. This here, secant squared x dx is the same thing as du, so I've got secant squared dx there, that's du, and of course tangent of x, that's your u. So that's a u there. And then I got minus the integral of tangent of x. Now let's integrate. The first integral is of u du. This is using your power rule for integrals. Adding a 1 to the exponent there will give me 2 divided by that. So that will give me u over 2. So it'll be u squared over 2, but u is equal to tangent of x. So this will give me tangent of x quantity squared over 2. And for tangent, the integral for that is minus natural log of absolute cosine, but you got a minus over here, so it makes it a plus. So again, the antiderivative or the integral of tangent of x is minus the natural log of absolute cosine of x. So this becomes a positive ln absolute cosine of x. And then this then is going to be it's going to go up here, the original one, and you've got your limits of integration are going to go from zero to pi over four. You can think of that also as forty-five degrees. So that's what's going to go up here, but that's the work for that. So here we have it. The integral from 0 to pi over 4 
we just did it is this right here and then this will be evaluated from 0 to pi over 4 so over here this is going to equal 2 evaluate each of these components at pi over 4 so here tangent of pi over 4 is 1 square it you still get 1 so that's 1 over 2 and that's going to be plus ln and then here cosine of pi over 4 again that's 45, uh, 45 degrees if you want to look at that in degrees and the cosine of 45 degrees or pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2 and that's minus and then we evaluate those components of the parentheses at 0 so the tangent of 0 you can look at that as 0 radians or 0 degrees it's going to be 0 you squared you still get 0 divide by 2 that's still going to be 0 and now we plug in 0 cosine of 0 is 1 absolute value of 1 is 1 so I have the natural log of 1 is 0. So the second part gets wiped out. So we get the value of the definite integral then is 1 half plus ln the square root of 2 over 2. And again, we don't deal with any constant of integration here because we're dealing with definite integrals. So this is the final answer then. 1 half plus natural log the square root of 2 over 2. And you could simplify this and your answer might be different. So keep in mind if you're, if you're working practice problems from the textbook, you work one out and you think you did it right. Again, you look in the back. And the answer is wrong so there are different ways if you simplify this you could get a different answer but for right now we'll leave it in this form thanks for watching we'll see you next time